This video is brought to you by Reset Games. At ResetGames.com, you can buy, sell, or trade new and used games from all eras of gaming. You can see trade-in values instantly, trade-in for credit or cash, and all of the bags for shipping your games will be provided at no charge. From PlayStation 3 all the way back to the old school Nintendo, Reset Games will have the titles that you are looking for and so much more. So check them out on their website at www.ResetGames.com and tell them that BCS Buster sent you. Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Free Space 2. Last time we successfully captured the Sunder ship from the NTF, and uh, they discovered that we're traitors though, and they're kind of on to us about everything, so let's see what we're going to do to get out of this mess that we're in. I'm Lieutenant Commander Jack Niven, your new squadron leader. Commander Snipes has been reassigned, so until further notice, you'll get your orders from me. With the 13th and 11th Basudan battle groups advancing, we have a hard fight ahead of us. If we lose Sirius, our backs will be against the wall. The NTF has fought too hard to surrender now. Hmm. The 4th Fleet, based in Vega, is providing the Basudans with logistical support. They've established a cargo depot near the Alpha Centauri jump node. Recon reports a perimeter defense of 16 sentry guns, with fighter patrols inspecting the depot at regular intervals. The 185th has been called in to sever that supply line. All targets are of Terran construction. Ah, I see. Our attack will be timed between fighter patrols. Our objective is to destroy all cargo and sentry guns. Once we secure the area, we'll be in a position to ambush Allied targets. The attack should lure the enemy to the depot and improve our odds in more critical engagements deeper within the system. Oh, okay, cool. So I don't really know why this new guy is in charge, but okay. All right. Well, the only ship we have available to us is the Mirad Miramadon, so that's fine. I'm actually going to take a ton of rock eye missiles. Is that rock eye? No, that's not what I want. No, come on. Yeah, I'm going to take all rock eye missiles for this one. And we've got our dual sub guns. Okay, we're ready. Here we go. All right. And now we've got some sentry guns here. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to chill for a little bit. I don't really feel like dealing with these sentry guns. I'm going to let my wingman take care of it. You know, I've, I've worked too hard. And um, I feel like I deserve a vacation. So I'm going to go ahead and take a vacation. And I'm going to let my wingman have some time, you know feel like they need to toughen up a little bit. They need to... I'm tired of hogging the spotlight. You know, I kind of want everyone else to get a fair chance to be a hero. I'm just an equal opportunity hero person. You know what I mean? I really want everyone to have a shot. And, oh, shoot, I lost a wingman. Well, he wasn't really worthy. This is kind of a... Uh, a, uh, a test as well. This is kind of survival of the fittest. You know what I mean? I want to see who's got the sack to be a part of my team. And they're trying to take out that cargo as well, so... And we've got some fighters that are kind of spry and that are kind of kind of go-getters there, so... That's kind of good. Oh, Beta Wing's kind of in trouble. Uh, not taking a little bit of damage, but, yeah, get your asses back in there. All right, oh, might lose another one here. Come on, might lose another one. No, maybe, no, okay, all right, hanging in there. That's good. They're doing their best. No, oh, it looks he's trying to survive, trying to survive. Oh, that one's taking some damage, too. Man, that cargo's going away, and I don't really feel like getting too close, either. Like I said, I just want to chill and not do a whole lot. Oh, Alpha Wing's taking a bit of damage, too. Um, oh, down to five guns. So, let's see. Let's go. Oh, lost Alpha Wing. No, oh, nuts. Man. I'm only down to like three supporters. That's kind of, that's not good. All right, come on, Beta Wing, get your asses in there. Yeah, but they're you know they're doing a pretty good job. They're and they've managed to take down two sentry guns left. So it looks like they almost got it taken care of. See, I didn't even have to do anything. And the, oh, lost another Beta Wing. Now let's see if they can take out that last sentry gun. All right. See, they were. I didn't have to do anything. All right. Very good. Uh oh. Hostile target inbound. It's a troop transport. At least.
Elysium class. Oh, I see. This one's all yours, Alpha One. We'll cover you while you destroy the transport. Oh, I see. Hold your fire! No military personnel are on board this transport. We are evacuating civilians to Alpha Centauri. An attack on this vessel is a violation of the Beta Aquilae Convention. Oh, well, we don't want to violate that. Show them what you think of the Beta Aquilae Convention, pilot. Um, nah, that's okay. There's civilians on board. So whose side are you on, Alpha One? Whose orders are you going to follow? Make your decision now, pilot. I've made my decision, and I don't, I don't feel like being a spy anymore. I feel like going back to the old team. Will I? I don't think I will. Okay, so that's the reason that I had um, all of those um, that I asked all my wingmen to um, to uh, destroy the sentry guns. Okay, now I and then of course I went behind. And I just kind of lined up one from behind. And as soon as they turned hostile, I uh, shot them down. So you can usually have a, a few kill, a few destroyed, and then you can kind of pick off one of them before it's time to go to work. Now, if you end up having like, to deal with three or four of these in a row, you just, like, these Myrmidons will swarm you. So you need to just kind of stick and move, and kind of, you know, as soon as you feel like you're getting shot at, immediately switch targets, and just go back and forth until they all go down. You know, if you ever feel like you're locked onto one, um, just uh, another one, is another ship is shooting at you, immediately bail and go towards the other one because you've just got to stick and move, stick and move, stick and move. Because we're going to have a lot of fighters to deal with in this mission. Uh oh. And, okay, oh boy. And they're coming at me. And they're coming at me in full force. Oh crap. Help! Help! Oh my goodness. Okay. A lot of... Oh my goodness. Okay. I need some help. Wait. Who's helping me? Oh yeah, I've got some, I've got some people helping me out. So you just want to dodge and... Don't worry about getting killed. Just... Yeah, just... You just... You just try and survive. And just kind of get out of the way until things get a little more manageable. And then once things are more manageable... You can get in there. Whew, fortunately, I have some help. Yeah, this can get pretty tricky pretty early on if you're not careful. All right. And let's take this thing out now. I'm not going to even watch the fireworks yet. Okay, let's turn around and watch the fireworks now. We are now transmitting the authorization code. Subspace Drive should be back online. Oh, good. Sorry, you've outlived your usefulness as a deep cover operative pilot. Return to base for reassignment. Nuts! I'm no longer a spy. Oh, well. It happens. For your excellent record of confirmed kills, you have achieved the status of ace. Yeah! We are lucky to get you back alive, pilot. Our deep cover operatives stashed vital schematic data in your fighter's onboard computer. With this information, GTBI analysts will be able to unravel the enigma of Bosch's VTAC project. These operatives also advised us of your impending execution. Unfortunately, we have no information concerning the whereabouts or status of Lieutenant Commander Stipes. We fear the odds of the survival are not favorable. In recognition of your outstanding service to the Galactic Terran Pursuit Intelligence Special Operations Command, you are hereby awarded the Distinguished Intelligence Cross. With this honor, you are now one of an elite few. We will bring you as far as Vega, where you'll catch a transport back to Capella. You'll rendezvous with the Aquitaine and continue with your next squadron assignment. Congratulations on a successful tour with the GTBI. Woo! I survived my mission as a spy! But what awaits us back in normal pilot life? You're going to have to wait until next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP, and take care, y'all.